Hello everyone, I am Swati Pradarshi and today we will be discussing about procedure for transfer of case from one court to another. In India, the procedure for transfer of case from one court to another is governed by the Civil Procedure Code 1908 CPC and the rules laid down by the respective high courts. Here um, following are some general outlines of the procedure. So for first we have file an application or as it's also called motion for transfer. The party seeking the transfer, the petitioner, must file an application or motion for transfer in the court where the case is currently pending. This application should specify the grounds for transfer and provide reason why the case should be heard by the court. Second, we have grounds for transfer. The grounds for transfer can vary and may include factors such as convenience of parties and or witnesses, jurisdictional issues, uh, impartiality of the court or any other relevant considerations. The petitioner must clearly state the grounds for the transfer of the application. Next, we have notice to opposing party. After filing the transfer application, the petitioner must serve a copy of the application to the opposing party, the respondent. This is typically done through a process or by registered post with acknowledgement due. Uh, next, we have response from opposing party. The, uh, the respondent may file a reply to the transfer application. Presenting their arguments against the transfer, they may also contest the grounds cited by the petitioner and provide reasons why the case should not be transferred. Next in the line we have hearing. The court will schedule a hearing to consider a transfer application. Both parties will have the opportunity to present their argument before the court. The court may also ask additional information or clarification if needed. After that we have judicial decision. After hearing both parties, the court will consider the merits of the transfer application and make a decision. The court's decision will be based on the grounds presented by both parties and applicable legal principles. Next we have the order of court. The If the court decides to transfer the case, it will issue a formal order directing the transfer of the specified case. The order will outline the reason for the transfer and any other relevant instructions. After that, to end the procedure, notification of transfer. Once the court order is issued, the parties will be notified of the transfer and the case will be forwarded to the new court. Party, The parties will, need, will then need to appear before the new court for the further proceedings. To conclude the presentation, it's important to note that the specific procedures for transferring of case may vary slightly depending on the rules of the respective high court and the nature of the case. Additionally, certain types of cases may have specific provisions governing their transfers, so it's advisable to consult with a legal expert familiar with Indian law for precise guidelines.